Hello, this is Mark from My Keys to Music. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we're talking about a song called If by David Gates in 1971, made famous by the group Bread. And this particular song features an interesting sound at the beginning. Let me play that for you. <laughs> So in researching this, it's not a keyboard, it's actually a guitar through a series of effects. The exact effects used, it doesn't seem like anyone really has an actual consensus on this, but it sounds like tremolo, giving it a wavering effect. It sounds a little bit like wah, because you can kind of hear a filter going in and out, or up and down, or high and low. And then it might actually, someone had recommended that it might be some sort of Leslie effect. but. Uh, it is a guitar, but a student from the My Keys to Music uh, Master the Nord Stage 3 course asked if I could imitate this on the Nord Stage 3, so I said to myself, at the time I thought it was a keyboard, I didn't know it was a guitar, and I thought to myself, well, if it's a keyboard from the 70s, chances are the Nord Stage 3 will be able to duplicate it pretty well, but uh, then I go online and I see it's a guitar, it's like, oh, well, you know, and then I thought about it, well, wait a minute, these keyboards are always imitating other instruments, whether it be bagpipes or horns and trumpets and clarinets and flutes and pianos and organs. and the, uh, the sole purpose of these electronic keyboards is to imitate other instruments, or at least one of the main purposes. So if can we duplicate a guitar here? And I've come to the conclusion, and you'll see it here in a second when I demo it, that the sound has more to do with the effects and the filtering than it does the actual bass tone or the fundamental sound and you'll hear it in a second. So let me put it to the test here. I'll show you the setup on my Nord Stage 3. All right, so let's take a look. So first I've got it split, because I wanted uh, the string part in the right hand, and so I've split the keyboard here. On the left, I have that special effects guitar, and then on the right, I have strings. So what I'll do is I'll just play along with a karaoke track, and uh, a karaoke track minus that beginning guitar sound, so you can hear just the pure Stage 3 imitating this. I'll start with some strumming and then after a couple of chords, I'll come in with the keyboard. If a page paints a thousand words, then why can't I? The words will never show The you I've come to know If a face... Okay, so that is the intro part. Let me fast forward here to about a minute and 20 seconds when we have the introduction to the strings. Now, I left the string part on the karaoke track. So when I play the strings here on the Nord Stage 3, you're going to have a hard time hearing the difference between the Stage 3 and the actual strings from the original track, or at least from the karaoke original track. But I'll play along anyway, just to give you an idea of how close this is. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how it sounds. Let me show you a little bit about how some of this magic happens. So I mentioned already we're doing a split here. So I've got this sound in the left hand. And of course we're using the synth engine. And the idea here is to start with a sample. And I'm using the Fender Precision Direct sample. And I had mentioned already that the sample isn't as important as the effects, but it is still an important ingredient. Take, for example, this first chord, the A chord. If you change the sample, it will make a difference. But 
A lot of these samples have the same personality because they're going through the exact same filtering, envelope, and effects. So here's a harp one, which isn't really, doesn't sound as close, but it still has a lot of the same personality traits. Let me go back to the original one that I settled on, Fender Precision Direct. All right, and just to give you a bird's eye view of what's happening, besides just playing on the left side of the keyboard, I've got the LFO doing a lot of the heavy lifting here, and that's what's giving it that wavery sound. So listen to that. You can change the tempo on that. And I've got it synced to the master clock so that I can take advantage of an accurate tempo. So I'm using 107, and this is playing in the division of 16th notes. So those are 16th notes against a 107 tempo. And it seems to fit pretty well with the song, although someone might argue that it could be a little bit more accurate on the tempo. Uh, so that's the LFO. And it's doing, uh, all it's doing is it's giving you that wah effect, that fast wah effect. And because it's adjusting this filter up and down. In a sense, if I just turn the LFO off for a second and do it manually, that's exactly what the LFO is doing it, although a thousand times more accurate than I can do with my hand. The other thing that's happening is there's a stickiness to it when you first hit the notes. And that's because we're adding some modulation envelope and further letting that filter open up quickly when the note is first hit. So there's adjustments there as well. Then we're taking advantage of some of the filtering. I've got the LP24 filter used in this case, a little bit of KB track, uh, some reverb, and then some of the other magic here is the wah 2, which is an exaggerated wah, and I've got it at full blast on the amount. I mean, if I had more, I would, I would use more, but we're giving it all the wah she's got. And the rate on this, it's interesting, it's a 2.8 rate. And listen to that without this. You get the wavering, but you don't get that wah sound. So those are some of the ingredients. And uh, the strings, that's pretty straightforward. We're just using orchestra legato strings with almost no embellishment other than reverb. And these strings come in so handy. I use it for so many different sounds. They're just the go-to strings on the keyboard for basic 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s string accompaniment. I do have some frequency. I can hear it here that I've got some frequency reduced. So we're at a, what is that, 3.7. Don't want it too bright. So I trimmed it down there, and that's what I did there. So those are the basics of this song. So hopefully you enjoyed that lesson. As I mentioned earlier, if you're interested in getting the sound downloadable right away for your Nord Stage 3, it's available in the Master the Nord Stage 3 course that I have online at mykeystomusic.com. It's also available for those faithful and trusty patrons who are uh, growing in numbers. I really appreciate your support there, but you also will get the privilege of having this sound downloadable and ready to go immediately for use on your Nord Stage 3. As always, thanks for joining me on these videos. It has been a wild and, and fun ride and continues to be, so we'll catch you on the next one.